and it's going to be a really, really hectic season for me. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another workday in my life. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Vivian and I am a data scientist working at a fintech in Sydney, Australia. I have recently received a lot of questions on what exactly I do as a data scientist. I've just finished planning out my coming week and it's going to be really busy, so I thought that this was the perfect time to bring you all along with me and kind of chat through my work. My first meeting of the day was at 9am with an adjacent data science team that looks after personalization. Think of this as the team behind Spotify's Discover Weekly. They had a dependency on my team to code up and automate a SQL script that would gather data, apply exclusions, which the team would then consume for their modeling. This call was almost like a project planning session, covering off the requirements, expected timelines, dependencies, as well as key stakeholders involved. I've got a quick 15 minutes between my meetings and of course I'm using this time to make myself a big fat cup of coffee. I've really been enjoying my mocha stovetop espresso maker and I have been using this almost every day to make myself an iced Americano. Next, I hopped right into my 10am meeting, which was a fortnightly catch up with my director. This was our first call of 2022, so we chatted about our Christmas break as well as the rise in COVID cases in Australia. After a bit of time spent catching up, we transitioned into work and discussed the key projects and goals that I should accomplish during this financial year. After my call was done, I spent some time cleaning up the coffee pot as well as responding to some Slack messages that I had ignored. Today I had to push back on some unrealistic timelines set by some of my stakeholders regarding a campaign. I am slowly getting better at setting boundaries and not overstretching myself to deliver. As a risk data scientist, my time is split between project-based model builds, enhancing our risk strategies, as well as ad hoc investigations. Here, I've time blocked one hour to deep dive into an urgent task regarding some unexpected figures in Tableau and try to identify the cause of the issue. I aim to wrap up this task within the day so that I can move on to my modeling project next. I'll chat to you more about that later this afternoon. I think I've made good progress in this piece of work. It's 12.01, um, I'm going to take my lunch break now because I'm really hungry and I will continue this after lunch. I've been intermittent fasting for a while now, so lunch is the first meal of the day for me. Today on the menu, we've got leftover stir fry beef with basil and broccoli, half an avocado and an overly ripe banana. This is so simple yet delicious to meal prep in advance. And because I've got a slight caffeine problem, I make myself a second cup of coffee. I would normally take a walk except it's summer in Sydney and it's way too warm and humid at lunchtime. So instead I spend some time on my phone, catching up on YouTube videos and responding to my friends instead. My company's pretty chill about how long we take a break for, but I try to be online by one. Here, I'm continuing the analysis that I was working on before lunch, splitting up my time into three Pomodoro sections of 25 minutes each. I also finalize my thoughts and put my key results into a Google Slides. I have a meeting at three o'clock in eight minutes time to share that with my wider team. I think we can hopefully wrap something up, draft an email and send that out to the key stakeholders. In the meantime, I'm making a cup of tea as well as a vanilla yogurt bowl with some lotus root powder, chia seeds and coconut as a snack. Joining my 3pm meeting now. Had a really good discussion with the wider team and managed to isolate the root cause of the issue. We then drafted a message with a high level summary and action items and sent it out to all key stakeholders. So glad to be finally done with this analysis and able to move on to my next project. Currently 4.14, as I predicted, my meeting did go over. Um, so that was my last meeting of the day and also of the work week because it's Friday today. I'm going to take a 30 minute break to go on a short walk around the neighborhood, taking advantage of the non-rainy Sydney weather. Yeah, I am really excited to go test out this camera that I got sent by Moneda Camera. 
um, came in this really cute box and let me just open it for you it is such a cute yellow color um, I'm gonna put the film in and go take some cute photos outside and I can't wait to develop these photos eventually and see what they turn out like but yeah One of my main work projects this coming quarter is a model refresh, which was due to kick off the week after. On this, I'll be acting as a project manager, which is really exciting as it'll help me develop further leadership capabilities. I will also have a team of data scientists working with me to help bring this project to completion. Here, I'm drafting out a project plan and scheduling a kickoff meeting into everyone's calendars. Our job as a data scientist is to turn data into actionable insights. Every data science modeling project can be broken down into six or seven main phases, collectively known as the data science life cycle. First, we've got business understanding, where you identify the business problem and what it is that you're trying to achieve by completing this project. Next, we have data understanding, where you find out what data you need to solve the problem whether that's in your internal data warehouses or via external tables. We then move to data preparation, where we create variables from our data sources to assemble our final modeling data set. Now, once we have this data set ready, it's time for modeling. Here is where you figure out what the outcome you want to predict and then build your machine learning model. The common terms like Gini or AUC are useful here. Once our model is finalized, it needs to be deployed and then used to solve real-time business problems. I work closely with the data engineering and the product and tech teams to do this implementation. And last but not least, we've got to do monitoring to ensure that the outputs of our models are performing as expected and that the results are stable over time. So that was my attempt at summarizing the entire data science lifecycle into one minute. Feel free to check out this video linked above for a much more thorough explanation. Remember that there are not always going to be models to build and a lot of my time is actually spent working with cross-functional teams to design experiments. It's all about creating value for your business. I wrapped up work around 6 p.m. and had a nice home-cooked meal for dinner. I hope that you all enjoy the sneak peek into a day in my life and that you learn something new. As always, please consider liking and subscribing. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!